All right, so we are about to have a call with um, Trend Ventures. So we've actually kind of been partnered with them for a while. We do fulfillment for a lot of their clients um, as well as product development. So we are going to be speaking with them about uh, a few more new clients coming from them for both product development and fulfillment. So hopefully some great things come out of this one. One of the potential clients is something that me and Daniel have been working on for probably almost a year, you know, kind of planting the seed and kind of working back and forth on it. It'll be our biggest client to date if we um, end up landing them and moving forward with uh, that contract. So we're hoping for great things, hoping to kind of end this week. Uh, it is Friday, so end this week on a, on a great, great uh, note. So here we go. Oh, uh, rocking the same motive to you? Today. Nice. I was just talking to Austin about it, man. I, I love these tees. I don't know about. I don't know. I think it's just the material on them. No, I, I I bought like three or four of them from y'all. Yeah. And they're like my regular rotation tee. Like, nice. I wear them all the time. Usually the black, like the solid black uh, embossed one. Yeah, the embroidery ones. Um, yeah. We yeah. kind of transition them between those two categories, that kind of stuff. So I've got okay. I've got two projects. One of them will probably kick off here. Um. In the next 30 days, the other one that may kick off in the next couple of weeks if she says yes, because she's at that stage now, she's ready to go. Are they looking for like a full service, you know, product development, fulfillment, website management? Like, what are what are some of the services that they're? Yeah, no, for? My, my thought is 100. Um, percent This is one of those ones where we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build it up, set it up, get it ready to go, and then we're gonna maintain it most, most likely. So. And Derek, j just so you know, uh, <laughs> if they're trying to release mid to late summer, they have to start like yesterday. <laughs> no, I think, I don't know if you caught, they want to release launch in September. Okay, September. September, okay. okay. Yes, I'm, I'm cutting a PO. I'm cutting a PO by July. Yeah, we just want to manage expectations with everyone as we're growing, just so like yeah. no one's set up for disappointment. No one's yeah. always wondering why things are taking so long. So this PLM software is definitely going to be able to track a lot of things instead yeah. of us having, you know, the traditional Excel spreadsheet of like just a million different Excel spreadsheets. We don't want that. We want everything to be tracked through one software, especially from the client's perspective. So they know exactly where to go at all times when they have comments and things like that. I'm gonna be running this, giving them the intro, kind of explaining the ins and outs of the process, what we do, how we engage, all that kind of stuff. But the idea of this is also, it's like the first ideation meeting. I'm gonna get a feel from them what they're interested in. Um, once I identify what they're interested in, I have to figure out, okay, is this a fit for Relay? Is this a fit for you know X partner? Is this a fit for Y partner? Like, who am I putting these guys engage? Who am I engaging in this process to be able to get this thing done? And I just want to make sure that where you guys are strong, I'm sending stuff to you. Obviously be very competitively priced with like other blanks companies, but a little bit higher price point. Um, okay. We're trying to weigh out the difference between, I got both prices based on the range that we're seeking, but a fine balance between China and manufacturing it in Turkey. Uh, just because like a made in Turkey blank probably sounds a lot cooler. Um, so we have, we have the range to be able to go from cottons to Pima cotton to Sapima cotton out in Turkey, but that just depends on a customer range. So like if- So you have like an ABC product basically or a tier one. Tier yeah, one, we're not gonna one. offer Pima and Sapima cotton as merch yet just because that's so high of a price point. Did you guys get that in house and have it ready mm -hmm. to go? I would say we're ready, we could, we could start now. You know, we're, we're pretty, uh, like Daniel said, we just actually, one of our other clients that was a clothing brand taking up about 500 SKUs, a uh, bunch of pallets, uh, just did a liquidation sale and he closed down his business, he's out. So uh, the space is free uh, and we're trying to fill it ASAP. So. Um, so what, what, 20, 30 pallets and 30 pallets? Yeah, yeah, about 20 pallets and 500 SKUs. So he, Massive sale, cleared it out, and he's uh, and good for him for moving that much inventory that quick. Probably. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, he's sent me, told to send me his secrets. Yeah, sure. well, he's a. Uh, have you guys heard of sour strips? Yeah, so we'll review we'll review contract again mm -hmm. on our end, make sure there's no adjustments that need to be made or SLAs added or anything like that. Sure. Um, 
send that over for your review here probably by end of next week. So give us until next Friday. Okay. And then goal would be we make a decision on what we're doing by the 16th. So yeah, sounds good. We'd, we'd love the we'd love the opportunity. I thought that I thought our phone call was just that, but it turned out to be three like different things. Three other no three, three other things. Three so other four things. different yeah. things. But like uh, I've been speaking this brand into existence for fulfillment for us since the day we started this company, or <laughs> since the day we met those people. Yeah. I I just knew that like I didn't know they were under in agreement for like terms, right? Cause like mm -hmm. most fulfillment clients, they do have, most fulfillment centers, they do have contracts, but we don't, we just kind of do a month by month basis, which is probably what I like, but in the sense of like, this is why relationship building is so fucking important because the power of referrals trumps any type of sales tactic you can ever throw. Like, yes, you may be a company that has 99.9% accuracy rate, inventory rate, whatever. But if you don't have the power of referrals because of the relationship thing, that doesn't mean jack shit because all the other businesses do the same fucking thing as us. They are all 99.9% .9 and then maybe 97, 98% for inventory, whatever, right? We're all the same. We're like on par with the market. Our pricing is literally the same or maybe a little bit more expensive just because we're boutique. Mm -hmm. But the way you treat a client, the way you keep the client, and the way you just like have your communications is so fucking important. Let's say the, the referral thing goes beyond just business too, just in your personal life, right? If you, if you apply for a job, this happened with somebody who applied for us. Uh, we called one of their referrals and they said, no, that person will not be a good fit for your business. And just like that, right? So. Uh, the relationship building, referrals, things like that goes beyond just the business uh, side of things. But no, it was a really great phone call. A lot of exciting things in the works. Uh, you know, like Daniel said, um, we're, we're creating some blanks that we're going to start trying to push and source. Uh, not Sorry, not source, but push into these print-on-demand places or make available for people who want to make good merch and not use like shitty Hanes t-shirts and stuff like that. So... Um, they're interested in that piece and then product development wise this could be a very lucrative partnership for us uh, because they have a lot of people who want to start brands and uh, we do a lot of we do a lot we, of we shit do a lot of shit in the product yeah. development space I mean he said send him a list of everything we can handle but I mean obviously Dan and I think we can handle everything but uh, we want to make sure it's stuff that we're good at and can, can um, execute very well for these people um, the the scary part about partnering with somebody who's giving you a lot of business is um, if you, you can't fuck up you if you if you go wrong with one you make one client not happy then that creates a, a doubt in their mind and they may not refer you business or it may cause a trickle down effect right so by doing this it is putting a lot of pressure on Daniel and I uh, to succeed and to take care of these people very well but. Uh, we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't think that we we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't think that uh, we could uh, perform and I mean we have been right so that's obviously why we're having these conversations because we have been taking care of our clients that they've given us very well so um, we're just saying bring more throw it up throw them all at us yeah I mean and then you know talking about the blanks thing that's for the pro dev side, us putting our money where our mouth is, uh, we review a lot of products, we get great feedback, we get negative feedback, which is a given. But um, us talking about these brands and you know what we can do better is just us saying, we're good at what we do and we're gonna order thousands of units at our own bankroll mm -hmm. to tell you guys that we are, we are in the business to create dope shit. And everything from a blank t-shirt to a jacket to everything, like we know how to make it all. We're great at that process, but like everything from a blank tee, starting from a blank tee, we're gonna create the best possible wholesale blank on the market. That's what we're going for, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, we know it's gonna catch a lot of wind. I mean, we've been, I've been kind of planting seeds every single day to people on social media, to other brands we work with, to print shops, that this is what we're doing so that when it is ready, we can literally go out there and say, hey, like we have it, it's ready to go. 
we won't bring in any more fulfillment clients for a while until we're very comfortable with where we're at. Long time. Um, obviously, if we do land them, it justifies bringing in this warehouse manager position that we've been interviewing for. So, uh, and the, the person that we do have in mind, uh, we do think that they will help elevate our warehouse operations and experience for our clients. So uh, a lot of great things in the works right now. We're, I mean, man, we're just, we're just, we're growing, bro. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, I feel like everything is like hitting us at once, so. The uh, room, like this room right now, the three people in this room, me, Austin, <laughs> and Derek, were the only people in the room in January. Mm -hmm. No one, I mean, not no one, but a lot of people didn't believe in what we were doing. That, who? Tr truth be told. Who? Like, a lot of people, bro. How they many? Just, <laughs> like, they just, they, they just don't, because like, this is not the kind of business that normal yeah. people will get into. Especially in our age group. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's group, crazy to think, the, like, the, the, who wants the, to start a fulfillment? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the minds that have, like, come together in this business, no one would believe we would start a fulfillment mm -hmm. set. Like, no one. And I didn't fucking think this would be, Out I had box. big goals. I mean, 10 million, but like, <laughs> But like, <laughs> but like, hey, you know, we start somewhere and um, I think if we land this client um, and, you know, our goal, our, our fucking run rate is through the roof and our growth is through the roof, 10 million, it looks very feasible next year. If we get this business, we are no longer having to go outside for more business. Because all of the product development clients always turn into a fulfillment client for us mm -hmm. because we exceed their expectations for, for, for product de development. So why wouldn't they want to keep it everything in house? That's why we, that's why we created this business model to vertically align all of the needs of an e-commerce business yep. and bring it and do it all in one space. It's a, it's a natural content, yep. product development, Website management, customer support. It's a natural support. service. It's yep. a natural upsell for us that we don't have to do. Our way of doing business is the most organic way of a sale. Like we are good at what we do in terms of like just providing like comfort and providing the level of attentiveness for people that they just feel comfortable giving us their whole business. And it's, it's in that, because yeah. we understand e-commerce businesses and how they run. And we just think like a consumer. I think exactly. that's so important. But we, like, we understand every aspect and avenue of e-commerce, whereas a lot of these 3PLs don't. They're, they're very old school, very, they just don't get it. So yeah, and, I think and that's why we're, we're able to grow how we, we have been. We're thinking outside of the box. We're doing something unique, different. We're fucking blogging, so we're pioneering um, the way and just yeah. show, honestly just showing showing who we are on camera. So all you ghost watchers and haters, <laughs> fucking suck it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>